Making nature come alive on paper is no easy task, but one Bemidji State University artist is using printmaking to bring the outdoors indoors. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath tells us how this artist uses a multifaceted technique to make paper trees tangible. Very natural shapes to the papers. It like might just be paper, very, but for printmaking artist Ashley Carl, it's a tangible way to get in touch with nature. Everything is just natural pieces, like natural material. The Bemidji State University Seniors Art Show Tangible Evidence shows off her skills in making the many tricky techniques of printmaking effortless. This one is only wood glue. Like I've drawn my design in wood glue and I tried to build it up enough so that it left that enough to emboss the paper. Printmaking is a process that transfers an impression from one form onto another, yes. like paper. But while Carl calls yeah, her art like style print. simple, <laughs> it's easy to get lost in the variety of ways this to create this carefree effect. There's colograph, mono printing, relief reductions. This printmaker is also a jewelry artist, a bit of a felt worker, and a paper maker. Every print in here includes my handmade paper. And if you haven't already noticed the reoccurring theme, Carl has a bit of an obsession for all things leafy and green. It's not my interest of leaves and trees, it's my obsession of leaves and trees. In fact, there are 154 leaves in her show, to be exact. Just knowing how to get like 100 to 150 leaves just sounds like a big burden on my shoulders. The earthy artist prefers to leave things in their organic state and let the art do its own thing, just like in nature. The tree is called I Knew It Was Obsession at First Sight. It's hard to tell what the centerpiece of this show is, but a tree is definitely hard to miss. And Carl used another printmaking technique called ghost printing to give it a lifelike appearance. It's what I'm drawn to, and I've always been drawn to it. I've I've always been like, oh, leaves, oh, trees. So this indoor printmaking forest is tangible proof that even paper can have dimension. And you can never have too many leaves. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.